Hey Cougs, welcome back to At UH Entertainment. I'm your host, Caleb Nagusi, bringing you the latest in celebrity news, from the newest episode of Euphoria to the drama between Azalea Banks and Kanye West. Then onto the list of celebs giving us major baby fever. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Euphoria Sundays never fail in its duty to amaze and shock us, and this latest episode is no exception. The HBO hit series presents viewers with an extremely moving and heartbreaking episode centered around main character Rue having to deal with the consequences of her drug addiction. Emmy Award winning actress Zendaya provides an incredibly raw performance that manages to not only move fans, but to also place them into her character's shoes. Fans are using this episode as a prime example on how drug addiction and relapse can not only affect oneself, but their family as well. Speaking of family, rapper Azalea Banks calls out fellow rapper Kanye West for his abusive actions towards Kim K. Banks took to Instagram stating, Y'all are making way too many excuses for Kanye. Stop trying to help him and start trying to help the poor child that he keeps on trying to embarrass and abuse publicly to garner sympathy. This criticism comes after Kanye posted an IG rant on how he disapproves of his daughter North's presence on TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, users of the platform are calling out Live Nation once again, but this time over the planned When We Were Young Fest. Here's Susanna Ariola with the latest. Thank you, Caleb. I'm inside the Student Center South to find out students' thoughts on the upcoming When We Were Young Fest. Think the festival is a scam? I honestly think so, um, especially for the prices they're holding it at. Um, they're just trying to get any, every money, every buck from the students. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I believe it's a scam. I personally do not believe it's a scam. I've been to many festivals in my lifetime. Having that many bands on a lineup is doable. I've been to shows where they've had more bands than that. Um, so I don't think it's a scam. Would you attend the festival yourself? Oh, no, I wouldn't. I only know like a couple of the artists, so not all of them. If I had the money, I definitely would. I want to see my chemical romance. How do you feel about Live Nation hosting the festival after what happened with Astro World? I don't trust Live Nation. Like knowing that it's like a rock concert and like it's punk and emo and like all the moshing, I wouldn't trust Live Nation to keep me safe. I think it's kind of like a redemption arc for them in terms of, well, we made a mistake here. This is kind of their thing about saying, hey, we need to act here and like have a good show in here so you know we can earn back the trust. So I think that's why they want to have it. Um, I'm not too sure about them after the Travis Scott concert. I think Live Nation also does like Coachella or uh, Lollapalooza. They do Lollapalooza. And that one's successful every year. So just because they had one hiccup in Astroworld, I think they can do it. Those were the UH students' thoughts on the When We Were Young Fest. Back to you, Caleb. Thanks, Susanna. Last up on our list is three celebs giving us major baby fever. Singer Rihanna delighted fans on Instagram with a post of her growing baby bump. This will be her first child with boyfriend and rapper ASAP Rocky. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have welcomed their second child and it's a boy. The model took to Instagram posting a photo of her holding her son's hand with the caption 2222. And last but certainly not least, Priyanka Chopra and husband Nick Jonas welcomed their daughter via a surrogate. Chopra stated on Instagram, we are overjoyed to confirm that we have welcomed a baby via surrogate. We respectfully ask for privacy during this special time as we focus on our family. A massive congratulations to all three couples and their families. Well, that's all I have for you today, Cougs. Go ahead and give us a like and follow us on all social media platforms at Coug TV. I'm Caleb Nagusi with At UH Entertainment, and we'll see y'all soon.